It was a late night for Albuquerque City Council. Six and a half hours of a meeting finally came down to a vote for safe open spaces for our homeless population. The vote came after weeks of postponements, but now we finally know where councilors stand on the idea. And Tamara Lopez spoke with city councilors about their votes last night, or this morning, I guess I should say. Tamara, the measure passed five to four, pretty close. So what's next in the process here? Yeah, Tessa, Julie, while we know the safe open spaces are coming to the Metro, they're not going to be here anytime soon. Almost community told us we need a safe space to be camped. If you're going to kick us out of the park, uh, give us a better option. Late Tuesday night, the Albuquerque City Council voted and passed a measure to begin the process of creating safe open spaces for the homeless. The measure passed five to four. City Councilor Luis Sanchez voted no after hearing multiple concerns from residents. It's important that we listen to the constituents, and when we listened to the constituents last night, overwhelmingly against the safe outdoor spaces. Sanchez says it should be something for voters to decide. Councilor Dan Lewis also voting against the issue, saying other cities like Denver who have tried this concept have seen it fail. We have no guarantee that, that we're going to be able to get people uh, to come live in a government sanctioned uh, tent city. Supporters say safe spaces are important for the city's homeless. This is about making them accessible in parts of the city and in areas where they're close to services, where homeless folks are already congregating, but need a safe place to do it so that we can take back our parks and our, our city streets. The matter now goes to the mayor. After we decide where could they be allowed, then we have to pass a law to tell the administration to set up the rules to make the application. That's where the details will come in. Davis says he hopes to see the safe open spaces up and running later this year before it gets too cold. Tessa, back to you guys. All right.